Hi guys, Enzo from Home Theatre Engineering and Andrew, are you awake? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm awake. here. <laughs> um, we had some questions on the beer. Look, cheers. No, hey, no, no, cheers. I, I, I don't think it's beer. No, it's, it's just apple juice. juice. This is not a beer. No, apple juice. Can you um, drink and tube at the same time when no, you do YouTube? Know. No, I don't I'll know. ask the poms. Um, I uh, thought we'd do a quick video in relation to, we had some comments and questions about chairs, cinema chairs. Um, and what we were using in our demo room in Perth. So um, we have opted for row one. Um, we use these in a lot of our jobs um, and uh, we get a lot of support from Audio Active, which are the distributors for row one. And our local guy, Kent, no trolley, Harvey. Uh, Kent's our, our rep. He likes to move these with no trolley. I'll give him a hard so time listen, about it. We want you to get online and comment and we want to see how many people are watching this video just enter you know, get a trolley, Kent. So oh, hashtag, hashtag trolley. Hashtag get a trolley. Get a trolley, Kent. Um, so <laughs> hashtag get a trolley, Kent. We, uh, and, and we thought we would do a video just to explain some of the features and pros and cons, because, you know, we're not, we're always going to have no products perfect, essentially. Um, so these are a Row 1 Ambassador chair. They are the top of the range of the creme de la creme, the luxury, uh, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and there's a few comments of people saying that Row 1s are expensive. Now, I think uh, we were talking before about comparing it, if you go chair price, to the likes of a, a chair that you'd buy at Harvey Norman or <coughs> Meyer or wherever, um, then, you know, those chairs work out to about anywhere from $1,000 to $1,200 a chair. These are anywhere from 1500 to two grand a chair. So, really, uh, not much more, and you're getting a whole lot more value for money. So, you're getting a good sturdy frame, you're getting a solid mechanism, you've got a lot, all the controls, the you've got real, real leather. Yeah, and look, and I'll tell you what, I had, a two, I had a pair of ambassadors for two years, and I'm a big bloke, 160 kilos, and when I on-sold them, the guy that bought them said to me, are you sure these are used? Because they look exactly like this. There are no creases, there was no wear and tear. Um, they, and they had not collapsed. I mean, I've spent some time over in Enzo's yeah. cinema as well, and every time you rock up, the seats look brand they new. They just look brand new. And, and look, I mean, they've got um, three years on the frame, three year warranty on the mechanism. Um, there's a couple of different features. These are, are more the luxury version, so um, more for look and design as opposed to features. Ironically, the Evolution, which is the next model down, yeah. has a few more features, which we'll talk about in a sec. This essentially has um, incline and obviously um, you can go back. It does have the headrest that pops up and down um, and Andrew will uh, show all that to you now. Let's go through through what we've actually got here um, in terms of the control. So first of all, each chair has its own control. Now, it is a little bit different because uh, this seat, for example, the controls on the right, this is a blank. This is the control for this seat and that's the control over there for that seat. So the other day Enzo was sitting here and I was sitting here and I actually just rested my hand. Now these are touch controls. You don't press the button, you just have to touch, touch it and it works. So whilst I was talking to Enzo, he's slowly disappearing because I had my hand rested on the button. Um, so working through, first of all, you've got a head up and head down function. So this is the headrest moving up to support the back of my head. Which is neck. great when you're, in, when you're inclined. Um, and it's, you know, especially I, I tend to get a bit of bad neck. So just having That's that right. position, I know. Um, and then you, so that's, we'll actually work around the dial. So the headrest is the first buttons on the right hand side. Then the middle group of buttons you have open, which then extends the chair. Right, now the interesting thing is- And this is, moves yeah. on, the, on itself, right? Yeah, yeah so yeah. it slides down the frame. So if Enzo stands behind me for a sec, yep. um, as we come back up, the seat barely moves. Yeah, it barely and, goes. You know, behind so you can put it quite close to a wall of course we don't recommend putting your rear row against a wall or more against a second row because a lot of people might not have the space absolutely so. and if, if someone in the second row has got their legs out mm. then this seat sort of you know scoops in and, and misses itself. them finally uh, on the left hand side you've got the light and cool uh, button the first button turns on the light in the drink holder and below the seat and the second touch turns on the fridge or the cooler um, and so you can take your, this is not a beer, and rest it in there, um, and, and off you go. And finally, the last one is a lock button that when you press it, and that's a physical press button, glows red and the controls don't function yeah. anymore. But the only downside with that, Andrew, the other night, turned the uh, cool on and the fan is a little bit loud. Yeah. So it's not something you'd probably use during a movie, to be fair, but 
you know, so if you've got the boys over and you're watching sport. Let's great. talk. Let's talk about the pros and cons. So the, those are all the pros. They're a great seat and a great advantage. But they are a cinema seat. And the thing that drives me nuts about these is that first of all, if you've got the lighting button on, um, then especially if your seat is open a little bit, the light from the below the seat sh shines directly on the screen. Um, now you can turn that off, but then you lose your cooler. Uh, if you do turn it on, um, you've got a lot of light coming out under the seat and out of the unit mm. here. And as Enzo said, you've got the buzzing noise from, from the cooler. Um, be good if they could sort of quieten that down a little bit. Um, but as you said, you're probably watching, you know, footy or, or yeah, something like yeah. that. Um, the, the blue light's out there, isn't Here's the thing. The thing that really peeves me is these are cinema seats. Guys, to the R&D guys and the marketing guys at Row 1, please... These things are in your face, and you're sitting watching a movie. Very bright. You know, we design, you know, light-controlled rooms. Everything's painted black, and then we've got these rows of bright LEDs in your face. And at the moment, seriously, the only way to really fix it is you've got to take two screwdrivers to this, pop it off, and hope you don't break it, and then either mark it with a black texture or put a, some, a like a uh, some filter over it, and then you can reduce the colour. Well, we have spoken to them about that, and they are working on something. I mean, it is a big thing. Like Andrew said, it is a cinema chair, ultimately, and if for a little light, it's ridiculously bright in a yeah. black room. So, look, you know, it would be great if they got that fixed, whether it's a, a button that just kills all these lights, or better still, just the lock button just kills all the other lights. Then you just have this dull, glowing red button, and life would be perfect. And that makes sense, because mm. when you hit that button, and it locked everything out, if everything turns off because it's locked, well... That makes sense to me. Yeah. So that's really the only thing. Now the other feature in here is you have a USB charger yep. here yep. beside your seat. So you've got your phone, of course. So if you're charging your phone, lay your phone across the top of the button so you can't <laughs> see it. And that gets to my next point. So the next step down is the Evolution Chair. Now the Evolution Chair is one that I actually prefer personally. A um, bit more extra padding in the seat. Um, it's, a, it's a more of a traditional looking chair. It doesn't look as modern as these. Um, but it does have an armrest that opens up and the storage compartment goes all the way to the ground. It still has the cup holder like these with the lights and that, but then it has a little silver mechanism that in the tray, the, in the armrest, there's an actual tray mm. that pops in. So you get like a table mm. that that actually works quite well in front of the uh, light. Popcorn and ice cream. Popcorn, ice cream, wine. Um, you know, and, it, it's and, a really and cool not table a and not a beer. Um, and ironically, the chairs are a little bit cheaper than these. Again, these are more uh, of a, a modern look, uh, better comfort, better leather again. Um, but, you know, there are options with row one. There's even a real basic chair. Um, so, you know, I think it's important to probably whoever's your local uh, row one person to speak to them. There's so many configurations. Mm -hmm. You can do love seats. You can do curved. You can, you can do straight. You can do a combination. You can um, uh, have no armrests. You can do double armrests. Uh, we've done a cinema recently with the photos on our website where all the chairs actually had a double armrest. So he wasn't sharing an armrest with anyone. Um, which is another thing that some this people like. Brought here. There, there is another thing too, guys. These are chairs. They're not ladders or tables or... or yeah, don't sit, know, on on um, don't, anyway. don't sit on the seat. Don't sit on the don't seat. Don't sit on the don't seat. Don't sit on the armrest. <laughs> no, so look, you know, uh, they're made of uh, ply under here and they'll take, you know, an arm and they'll take some drinks and remote controls. But don't stand on here and don't stick your knee through it um, because they're not designed for that and they will cave in and, and you'll probably... That's, and that, not, not that's on any chair. I mean, my sister-in-law had a thousand-dollar chair from Amart or whatever, and same thing. Her friends, they didn't have enough seats. Her friends sat on the arms, and it completely collapsed. Yeah, um, that happens on even twenty-thousand-dollar seats. Yeah, so, so just be yeah. wary of that. Uh, look, we love these chairs. Again, the support, the reliability, the, leather the durability, really the leather, like, you know, the mechanisms. Um, and look, for us when we're looking for a product, if I can't pick up the phone and ring someone, I tend to steer away from it. And Row One and sorry, Audio Active and Kent. Um, have been phenomenal, very big support for us. Kent without a trolley. Kent without a trolley. Hashtag get a trolley Kent. Um, and we, um, yeah, we, we love these products. And, and look, there are other products out there by all means. Um, and we're not uh, overly biased. We have access to multiple chair manufacturing products. But mm. um, this is, tends to be the one that we tend to always go to um, well, for multiple you know, reasons. As you said, I, I think the thing is we know it's well built and we've got great local support. And that's yeah. a big deal for us, you know. And they're um, bloody comfortable. Yeah, they are. And the fact is, you know, I'm a big bloke, I've pretty high, wide hips, and I fit really nicely in there. Uh, and a lot of our customers are big boys, you know, um, and the same thing they say, it's good to get a chair where they fit, they're comfortable. 
Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, look, it's one of those things. Finding so, chairs are pretty subjective, and um, there are a lot of people that think a seat's a seat and, you know, $1,000 will do. Uh, once you've had something like this, it's very hard to go back, to be honest. I think I might have to do another take. You just want another beer. Could be. Isn't that nap time soon for you? <laughs> you know what we need to do? Actually, folks, we have to go now because we've just received a Prezi, a disc that we can't talk about. Yes, so we've got a, and, uh, a bit of an early access, a sneak preview to a movie. Which we're not 4K, supposed to have. Which we're not meant to have. So uh, kudos to whoever sent it to us and whoever mm. gave it to us. So we're going to have a little play with that. Um, comment, subscribe, like, recommend, hashtag Kent get a trolley. Uh, and uh, we will probably pick a winner, I think, out of that. Mm. I think we'll do a little prize. We'll see how many people can hashtag Kent get a trolley. Get a, we'll, is it hashtag get a trolley Kent or hashtag Trent, uh, Kent? I think a, I think we'll go with hashtag really. Kent get a trolley. Okay, is that the final? Uh, Kent, Kent get a trolley. Get a trolley. Kent. Hashtag we'll pick a winner and we'll contact you. We'll throw a little prize to you uh, just for for doing it and and shit stirring Kent. Um, and uh, yeah, look, great product, great chair, really reliable. We love them. Our customers love them. Um, Again, thank you very much for watching. We'll be uh, sending more videos your way very soon. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. Whatever it is. Thanks, guys. Thank you. I'm Bye. doing another beer. Go to sleep. All right. Bye.